are two friends sailing around the world. Watch as the journey unfolds. We are more hands on deck. After a month and a half of working on the boat, day and night, we decided to take a little break and explore La Paz's beautiful sea life. So we're here with a uh, whale shark in Mexico, and we're gonna take some DNA samples, do all sorts of scientific stuff. Measure how long they are, see if they're male or female. <laughs> We're looking for the whale sharks right now. Woo! Yee In La Paz, Mexico. I'm uh, Denny Ramirez. I'm the director of Whale Shark Mexico. And we've been studying whale sharks for the last 10 years. And we are focused on our research of the whale shark in the sea of Cortez. We were so excited that Denny and her team were able to take us out to swim with the whale sharks and learn more about the Whale Shark Mexico project and what they're doing to protect the endangered species. After an hour of searching, we finally spotted them. <laughs> this is what I live for! Yes! Yes! <laughs> well, Whale Shark is an endangered species. It's protected around the world and it's protected in Mexico. We still have a lot of illegal fishery. We have to collect this sample and to run DNA analysis. And we learned that the ones from the Atlantic Ocean is a different population. We are just placing like a visual tag. We have just basically numbers. How we can see if the whale sharks from here are moving to Nayarit or from Nayarit to here. So we share this information with Mexican government and we've been training the tourism companies and we generate some rules that we have to follow when we are working with the whale sharks. And so far, after four years, we decreased the 26% of the whale sharks that have been hit by boats, which is great and it's an effort that we have to be uh, continue. Though we were pretty hungry, Denis didn't let us eat the DNA samples. And that day was victorious. We had to make a few changes before Destiny was ready to travel the world. Our biggest change would be the rigging, but to change out the rigging, we'd have to take out the masts, and to do that, we had to get the motor running. We didn't know much about diesel mechanics in the beginning, but we read a lot of manuals and learned from experienced sailors while working day and night. A lot of the maintenance was just about cleaning up stuff and changing fluids, but we broke some vital parts in the process. And replacing these parts in Mexico wasn't easy, and it took time. We went from this to this. With this. Not every piece we made worked the first time without modification and some experienced help. We did what we could with the resources we had. We have all the parts on there, we'll see what happens. We've got some disappointments. Start it up, Kim! After our success, we relaxed with a little dinghy cruise. Alright, we got 40 minutes for takeoff. We had turnbuckles, we had Norsemans, we had wire, we had even more wire. We were finally ready to take out the masts and start working on the rigging. Moving destiny for the first time. Yee! That was the first time Destiny has moved off her mooring in over 10 years. We had to keep an eye out for sandbars and park her carefully on the dock so we could get the masts taken out. We were all pretty nervous to take out the masts. There were a number of problems we could run into. We were just hoping we disconnected everything and there weren't any hidden bolts somewhere holding the mast to the bottom of the boat. But we just held our breath, crossed our fingers, and we had to get it done.
stay on the set of the More Hands On Deck show. Woo!